Now I will teach you about the costovertebral joints. It's time to take a breath of fresh air, literally. These are synovial joints found on each side of the thoracic vertebrae, and a couple more hanging out in the lumbar region, these joints help the ribs dance up and down during inhalation and exhalation. It's the rhythm of respiration, my friends. These joints form two groups of plain synovial joints, connecting the proximal ends of the ribs to their corresponding vertebrae. The first group is called the costocorporeal joints, found between the heads of ribs and the adjacent vertebral bodies. The second group is the costotransverse joints, where the rib's tubercle articulates with the transverse process of its related vertebra. Why are these joints so cool? They are essential to our respiration, after all. They are a component of the thoracic articulations, which together with the rib cage, make up the thorax. You see, these joints allow the rib cage to move, enabling the elevation and depression of the thoracic cage on the vertebral column. This movement is vital for adjusting the volume of our chest during breathing. So next time you take a deep breath, remember these amazing costovertebral joints that make it all possible. Let's delve into the fascinating world of costocorporeal and costotransverse joints. Costocorporeal joints, also known as joints of heads of ribs, are found in typical ribs. Each rib head has two convex articular facets, they are also called the demofacets. The superior one connects with the body of the vertebra, above and an inferior facet articulates with its corresponding vertebra. The costocorporeal joint consists of two synovial compartments, separated by an intraarticular ligament that links the crest of the rib head to the adjacent intervertebral disc. However, there is just one articular facet in atypical ribs, which include the 1st, 11th, 12th, and occasionally 10th ribs, and they only articulate with the respective vertebral bodies. These ribs are consequently devoid of the intraarticular ligament. Now let's talk about the second group of costovertebral joints. These synovial joints are found in ribs 1 to 10. They occur between the articular facet on the rib's tubercle and the transverse costal facet on the transverse process of the corresponding vertebra. Ribs 11 and 12, on the other hand, don't have tubercles and don't articulate with the transverse processes of their related vertebrae. These joints are essential for our respiratory function and contribute to the flexibility and movement of the rib cage during breathing. Let's take a closer look at the ligaments associated with the costovertebral joints, which play a crucial role in maintaining proper alignment between the ribs and the thoracic vertebrae. These ligaments include the radiate ligament of the head of rib. The costotransverse ligaments. And the intraarticular ligament of the head of rib that we talked about before. The intraarticular ligament of the head of rib is a short band found within the joints of the heads of typical ribs. It originates from the crest of the rib's head and directly attaches to the adjacent intervertebral disc, separating the two articular surfaces on the rib's head. The radiate ligaments of the head of rib connect the anterior margin of the rib's head to the sides of the bodies of two vertebrae and the intervertebral disc between them. These ligaments provide additional stability to the joint. As for the costotransverse ligaments, their main function is to stabilize the costotransverse joints. 
The Costa transverse ligament attaches the neck of the rib to the transverse process, filling the Costa transverse foramen between the rib's neck and its adjacent transverse process. Together, these ligaments work in harmony to ensure the proper alignment and stability of the costa vertebral joints, allowing for controlled movements of the ribs during breathing and other activities. That is all about the costa vertebral joints of the vertebral column. Now you know their importance and how the flexibility of vertebral column plays a role in the mechanism of breathing. Ever felt overwhelmed by the traditional way of learning medicine? Enter the future of education with digital learning. Whether you're refining your knowledge of biochemistry or immersing in cell biology, it's all there. Understanding complex medical subjects has never been easier or more efficient with engaging, interactive content. Welcome to the new age of medical education. Learn anywhere, anytime, at your pace. Powering your medical journey. Skadia.com